So we're going to be taking the Lord's Supper together. And when you take it at your house, you may have not have what we have at the church. So maybe go if you have a cracker or a piece of bread and get yourself before you start. You can pause this right now and get a piece of bread. If you have some grape juice or something like that, you can put that in a cup. Any cup will do. Um, you can use water. So you can take the Lord's Supper. It's symbolic of what Jesus did for us. Let me read from Luke chapter 22. Realize the disciples had no idea what Jesus was doing. You've got, you know, Judas in, in Luke chapter 22 looking for an opportunity to betray Jesus. And then in verse 7 it says this, Then came the day of unleavened bread on which the Passover lamb had to be sacrificed. Jesus sent Peter and John saying, Go, make preparations for us to eat the Passover. Where do you want us to prepare? They asked. He replied, As you enter the city, a man carrying a jar of water will meet you. Follow him to the house he enters. Say to the owner of the house, the teacher asks, Where's the guest room that I may eat Passover with my disciples? He'll show you a large room upstairs, all furnished. Make preparations there. When they left, they found things just as Jesus told them. So they prepared the Passover. When the hour came, Jesus and his apostles reclined at the table and he said to them, I've eagerly desired to eat this Passover with you before I suffer. For I tell you, I will not eat it again until it finds fulfillment in the kingdom of God. Jesus said, I won't eat it again until we're in heaven together. So this is something that we'll do together in heaven. And he took bread and he gave thanks and he broke it and he gave it to them saying, this is my body. Do this in remembrance of me. So before you take the bread, I want you to close your eyes right where you're at. Ask God if there's any area of your life where you're not honoring him. Maybe someone that you need to forgive. And take a moment right now to think about his body that was broken for you. And to offer every part of your life to him, the idea of being broken for him. Take a moment to do that right now on this Passover. It says, and he took the bread and he gave thanks and he broke it and he gave it to them saying, this is my body broken for you. Do in remembrance of me. So right now, take the bread in remembrance of him. In the same way, it says, after supper, he took the cup saying, this cup is the new covenant in my blood, which is poured out for you. But the hand of him who's going to betray me with mine at the table, the son of man will go as has been decreed, but woe to the man who betrays him. And then they begin to question who would do this. Jesus said, this is my blood. Even in the middle of betrayal, he said, this is my blood. I'm going to shed it for you in the middle of hurt and pain. So no matter how messed up you are today, take a moment to thank God for his blood that was shed for you for forgiveness. He shed his blood. He sat and washed the disciples' feet, even the one who betrayed him. And he loves you just as much. So take this cup in remembrance of him today. Let's close in prayer. Father, thank you so much for your word and your power. I thank you for your blood and your body given for us. And we celebrate that today in remembrance of you. May you renew our hearts through your spirit, renew our homes through your spirit. And we celebrate the grace you've given us because you were broken for us. We remember you and all you've done. And we choose right now to surrender all to you. In Jesus' name, amen. Thanks for joining us in this Lord's Supper. I pray that God would use it in your life. Feel free to watch this anytime you want to take the Lord's Supper together. We love you guys.